What's going on MTG community? Good Deeds here. We're back at it with another video. Hope you're all doing well. It's been a okay week so far. I've been, uh, haven't been feeling too great. Um, so yeah, this, uh, if my enthusiasm isn't as up as it usually is, I apologize for that. But today we're going to be doing the review of our Merfolk and Goblins dual decks. So I hope you're ready for that. Remember, if you like these videos, hit that like button, subscribe button. Make sure you share the content. It helps it go a thousand million miles, whatever you want to do with that. But make sure you share it. And uh, yeah, so we're doing, we're, uh, my goodness, can't talk either. Um, we are doing a deck box giveaway at the end of the month. So to be entered in that, all you have to do is make a comment on any video in the, on the videos in November. Each comment equals one entry. So make sure you comment on every single video and every video you can. We also are giving away a $25 TCG player gift card at the end of the month as well. I'll have a link up top to make sure you know how to enter for that. Just go click on it and I'll tell you exactly on that video. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and make this really short, but this is going to be my review and my take on this dual deck. And uh, we'll go over all the cards and you can see what uh, what's all in it. So let's not waste any more time. We're starting right now. Alrighty, let's get jumping into this. So if you guys have not seen these yet, these came out uh, last Friday, and we are just now going to do our review of them. But uh, you can get these at most of your local game stores for about $20. So uh, we're not going to try and keep the integrity of the box this time around, just due to the fact that I bought another one for uh, for display. So yeah, we're just going to tear into it. Wow, that was a uh, makeshift work with this box. Oh, I didn't know it came with two dice as well. Maybe we should go over that. Uh, contents, uh, 260 card decks, 10 tokens, 2 deck boxes, strategy inserts, magic quick reference guide, and 2 spin down life counters. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so we got a uh, green die for the Merfolk side, and a red one for goblins, of course. But, uh, I thought it would be blue, but oh well. Um, here is the symbol, oh, just a typical magic symbol there. Oh, goodness, they don't have those in packages. I thought they said it came with 2 deck boxes. Oh, it does. Sweet, we'll go over those first. Here we go. So, we have our uh, new Master of the Waves. Very sweet. Just uh, kind of push it together and it folds there. And yeah, nice little deck box. Very sleek. I like it. I like that one. And then we'll go to Warren Instigator. Um, and I'll give you my opinions on the, the cards there once we get to them. But uh, yeah. Oh, it also has the mana symbol right there. Oh, really sweet. Cool. Okay. So there's the, the deck boxes. Um, oh, are we getting a poster? Kinda. Kinda not really. What do we get on this side? Oh, we got, it has all the contents of it. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, so we won't waste time with that. Uh, quick reference guide. All right, so let's go ahead and start with uh, we'll start with uh, Master of the Waves here. So this is the new alternate art uh, for Master of the Waves. Can I get that to focus in? Uh, light is pretty bad actually. Uh, maybe help that a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I don't uh, protection from red, which works really well against in this dual deck because. You're playing a mono red deck as well. Uh, the the art I actually I actually do like this art. This art is really nice compared to the old one. I think uh, I'm not gonna say that I don't like the old art, but uh, if you're not familiar with Master of Waves, it is a uh, three and a blue. It is a two one. It has protection from red. It is a Merfolk wizard. Elemental creatures you control get plus one plus one. When Master Wave enters the battlefield, create a, create a number of zero one zero blue and elemental creature tokens equal to your devotion of blue. And your devotion, each blue and your mana cost of permanence you control costs towards your devotion to blue. Um, it's a very cool card, very nice. Um, it has this weird, like, kind of film touch to it. Uh, completely different than what I'm used to on foils, but uh, it does feel a little odd. So uh, we'll do that, and we'll just go over. We'll go over the the two uh, main cards here. And on the red side, we've got Warren Instigator. This one I do not like. I do not like the art on this. Uh, the old art from Zendikar was so much better. I did play, uh, it was like a Goblin Storm deck, and we had I ran two, uh, four of those. Four of these Warren Instigators, and very sweet card, amazing ability. Um, it's just the art on this one is, is not my favorite. Uh, so it's a two red, it's a 1-1. One, one. 
It's a Goblin Berserker. It has Double Strike, and whenever Warrant Initiator deals damage to an opponent, you may put a Goblin Creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. The ability is fan-freaking-tastic. It's so nice, but I'm, I don't like the art. Um, if I will, I might put a little uh, comparison right up here so you can see that. But, uh, my goodness, I, I don't like this. Um, and this one has the same kind of deal. It has a nice film, weird film, not like what most foil cards that I'm used to have. So a little different feel there. Um, all right. Pull these out. Uh, all right, all right. We'll start with more folks in. And uh, first, we've got Harbinger of the Tides on this side. Go ahead and crack this bad baby open. And I will let you know at the end of this video if it is worth it to buy these dual decks. Now, to be completely honest, I haven't looked at any of the contents before, did not read the list or anything, so we're going to be experiencing the experience. Yeah, we're just going to go through this together. So, Harbinger of the Tides is a rare, it's a two drop blue, it's a 2 2 Merfolk Wizard. You may cast Harbinger of the Tides as though it had flash if you pay two more to cast it. When, you, uh, when Harbinger of the Tides enters the battlefield, you may return target tap creature and opponent controls to its hand. Very nice. Flashed it in. Very sweet card. This one kind of... These have a weird feel to them, too. These kind of have a weird feeling. Um, okay, next is the Master of the Pearl Trident. It's a 2 blue. 2-2. Two, two, uh, merfolk. Other merfolk creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1, and have Island Walk. Very sweet card. Very awesome card. Um... You gotta call these lords, lord cards. Um, I think that is since uh, and have island walk. Spreading seas has been kind of uh, making its way back in. I don't know if there's any spreading seas in here, but uh, if it is, it just pretty much turns a target, a target island or target uh, land, excuse me, into a. I think it's just a island, it's just straight island. Uh, okay, next we've got a Tidebinder Mage. It's a two, two blue, two two Merfolk Wizard. When Tidebinder Mage enters the battlefield, tap target red or green creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller untap step for as long as you control Tidebinder Mage. Again, very, very sweet if you're playing this dual deck against red. Very sweet card. Awesome. Alright, next we have another rare. Oh, I'm not, I've never seen this one. This is Wake Thrasher. Two and a blue. It's a 1-1 one, one, Merfolk Soldier. Whenever a permanent you control becomes ta untapped, Wake Thrasher gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay, upkeep, untapped. There you go, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Nothing too great about this card, not, not, not really sure how I feel about it. Probably why I don't know about it, because it's not that great. And another card I'm not familiar with is a Merfolk Sovereign. It's a 1 and 2 blue. Uh, Merfolk, other Merfolk creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. And tap, target Merfolk creature, you, you can't be blocked this turn. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I don't know if there's anything to make any of these Merfolks extremely big to swing out in for one turn, but great ability. Um... I don't know, it's a, yeah, not too bad, another Lord. Okay, Engulf the Shore, familiar with this one. I want to say this was from Eldritch Moon, I think. Uh, this is a three and a blue. It's an instant return to their owner's hands, all creatures with toughness less than equal to the number of islands you control. Very good card in this deck. <laughs> Amazing card. All right, Misdirection, three and two blue. Uh, it's an instant. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay Misdirection's mana cost. Change the target of spell. Target change the target of target spell with a single target. All right, good against uh, if there's any like bolts or anything in the uh, war in the red deck here. We'll check that out as well. This next we've got another rare. It is a mind spring X and two blue. Uh, draw X cards as a sorcery. Uh, that's not too bad. Late game seems pretty good. Even mid game actually not too bad. Actually not too bad. It'd be even fantastic if it was an instant. But we can't be too picky. Oh, this one's a creepy looking card. Okay. Uh, Cold Eye Selkie. Sel Silky. Uh, one and either you can pay one and uh, green or a blue. Two green or a blue. Has Island Walk. Whenever Cold Eye Silky deals combat damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. Okay, getting plus one, drawing two cards. I mean, it, Island Walk seems great. It's a 1 1. Not too bad. All right, now we're going to be jumping into our commons and uncommons here. So we're going to go by through these probably pretty quick. Won't read them all. Let you give you a chance. We got Tidal Warrior. It's a one one. Uh, uncommon Root Water Hunter. Two and a blue. It's a one one. Uh, tap it deals one damage to target creature or player. Scroll Thief. Another Scroll Thief. S uh, streamed Acquaint. What is it? Aquatics. 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 I don't know. Uh, it's a one and two blue. Two three. I uh, got uh, three of those. 
Ink Fathom Divers, three and two blue. It's a three three with Island Walk. Merfolk Looter, uncommon. Pay one and a blue. Uh, tap, draw a card, discard a card, one one. Merfolk Wayfinder. This is a good card. I like this one. Another soul, uh, another lord, excuse me. Mario Rajuri, Root Water Hunter, Tidal Warrior, Tidal Courier, another Tidal Courier, and we got some lands, 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 oh. All right. Next we have Lonely Sandbar. Lonely Sandbar is a battlefield tapped. Uh, cycle card, very good. Uh, draw two cards. Aquitics Will. Tribal Sorcery. Put a Flood Counter on target land. That land is an island in addition to its other types. As long as it is a Flood Counter on it, if you control a Merfolk, draw a card. Very good card. Very sweet, actually. I like that. And you got a play set of those. Essence Scatter. Good card. Tidal Wave. It's a 2 and a blue. Create a 5-5 five, five blue wall creature token with Defender. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Triton Tactics. Concentrate. Draw three cards. Seems good. And we got our tokens. Okay, so um yeah, not a not a bad not a bad deck here. The only thing that I would definitely add into it is uh some spreading seas. Spreading seas are amazing, they are actually on the rise right now, but uh Merfolk deck looks pretty solid. Not too bad. We'll jump over to goblins here in one sec. Alright, back on to it with the goblin side of things. Alrighty, this one is a. Uh... We're going to start off with Goblin Diplomats on this side here. Get this trash out of the way. Trash, 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 trash. Okay, pick them up, pick them up. See if we can find where the lands are at because there's such a big stack of flipping cards. Getting close. Perfect. Okie doke. Goblin Diplomats. So we're starting off with a one and a red. Two, one. Tap each creature and attacks this turn if able. Um, you're pumping out a lot of goblins, I'm sure, uh, so it seems pretty good. Goblin Rabble Master, uh, another fantastic goblin. Two and a red, two, two, other goblin, can creature, other goblin creatures you control attack each turn if able. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red cre goblin creature token with haste. Whenever Goblin Rabble Master attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn for each other attacking goblin. Uh, I love the art on this. They kept the same art. Looks really, really sweet. Love it. And look, Goblin Chief, uh, Chieftain. One and two red. It's a two, two haste. Other goblin creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have haste. My goodness, you keep <laughs> making these guys attack. Seems really good. I'm not familiar with this one. Uh, it's a Goblin Mutant. It is a three and a red. It's a six, six. Goblin Goon can't attack unless you control more creatures than defending player. Goblin Coon can't block unless you control more creatures than attacking player. So it's pretty much a body that doesn't do anything unless you're controlling more goblins. But that's not a hard thing to do. Seems like a great card for this. Uh, Goblin Razor Runner. Runners. Ray, raise Runners? There we go. Uh, two and two red. It's a three and a three, four. Pay one and a red. Sacrifice the land. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Goblin Raise Runners. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, you may have Goblin Raise Runners deal damage equal to the number of plus one counters on two target player. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem bad. Once you hit that mana curve of, I'm guessing, four, just start sacking those lands and dealing damage along with all the 20 goblins you have attacking. Uh, Krinko Mob Boss, fantastic card. Two and two red is a 3-3. Three, three. Tap, create X, 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens, where X is the number of goblins you control. Fan freaking tastic card. Love it. Uh, let's see, we got Relentless Assault. It's a uh, 2 and 2 red. Uh, sorcery, untap all creatures that attack this turn. After this main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Holy poop. Oh, so good. Oh, we got an artifact. It's a one drop artifact. Pay 4, tap. Exile, brittle energy, uh, effigy. Exile target creature. A removal spell? Uh, seems okay. Goblin uh, Charbelcher, uh, pay four artifact, tap, pay three, tap, reveal cards on top of your library until you reveal a land card. Goblin uh, Charbelcher deals damage equal to the number of non-land cards revealed this way to target creature or player. If the revealed card was a mountain, Goblin, oh man, Goblin whatever, deals double that damage instead. Put the revealed cards in the bottom of your library in any order. Wow, I don't know, I don't think I've, I've seen the art, I think, but I'm not familiar with that. I've never read that, read that, but the card seems stupid good. 
So good there. Okay. All right. Now we're going into some commons and uncommons. We got a Foundry Street Den Denizen. Battle Squall uh, Squadron. Goblin Tunneler. Bogart Brute. Another one of those. Goblin Glory Chaser. Em Ember Hauler. Goblin War Driver. Another Goblin War Driver. Uh, Gem Palm Incinerator. Goblin Ringleader. Oh, man, that seems pretty pissed off looking. Two of those. And another Foundry uh, Denizen. Not too bad on the creatures. Um, I would have to say, I think... I think at this point, I think, uh, you know, just to, from the top of it, obviously you want to, if you can get into it, I would say a couple more Master of Waves, and definitely throw in a playset of Worn Instigators for the Goblins to throw, to just make it that much better. You're only running mono on each color, so uh, pulling that mountain for that artifact, you're just going to be doing, <laughs> I would say, quite a bit of damage each time. Alright, other uh, la uh, lands we've got here, Forgotten Caves Under the Battlefield Tapped. You're running two of those. Blighted Gorge. It's a land. Uh, pay four and a red. Sacrifice. Deals two damage to target creature or player. Two of those. Tar Fire. That's a unique art. I like it. Must be a pretty old card. Uh, switch those out for Bolts. <laughs> if you're playing casual, whatever. Brute Strength. Uh, plus three, plus one. Infect. What does that say? Oh, Trample. Why did I say Infect? I don't know what the heck that was about. Krinko Command. Yep. Good one. Uh... I forget that card that creates three of them. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it was in Standard, I think, not too long ago, a couple sets ago. Okay, Ghost Fire, Colorless, deals three damage to target creature or player. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that you could do to imp imp uh, uh, improve these decks, but uh, Goblin Grenader, Grenade, I guess. Oh, there we go, Whirling Outburst. Create three red, one one red Goblin creature tokens, right there. Clever Riot, and we get our tokens. All right, uh, tell me, what is your opinion on these decks? Which one do you like better? Do you like the Master of Waves or the Goblins and the Warren Instigator? Do you like the new arts on those cards? Tell me what you think. I would like to hear it. All right, we're going to get back to you in one sec. All righty, everybody, we got through that. Let me know what you think of the dual deck. Do I personally like it, and what is my review on it? Yes, I do like it. Should you buy this if you're wanting to play, get into Merfolk. Merfolk is big right now. Goblins, eh, not really so much. But on the Merfolk side, you're getting a lot of the good staples you need. There's obviously a lot of cards you would need to pick up. But for just fun and to pick up some of these uh, alternate art Master of the Waves, $20 doesn't seem too bad for it. Uh, I love the deck boxes. The deck boxes are awesome. But the only thing I'm not pleased with is the Warren Instigator. Do not like it. Do not. But other than that, I think it's a good buy, and I think you should get it. If you're uh, interested in playing with these dual decks and uh, possibly just needing a couple cards, or even just wanting to pick up those... Uh, uh, alternate arts. I know Warren Instigator at one time was like 10 bucks. Uh, I have no idea what it is now. It's probably dropped. Maybe it's kept its value at least from the Zendikar block. But for $20, go pick it up. I think you should. Stay away from that Warren Instigator though. I know you can't just buy half of it, but not a big fan of the Goblin side. Merfolk's great. Love it. Add those Spreading Seas. Fantastic deck. Tweak little things. And you've got yourself a Tier 1, Tier 2 Merfolk uh, modern deck. Not too bad. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and make sure you share the content. Uh, remember, we've got those giveaways at the end of the month. I had those posted up at the beginning of the video. Go check those out. Make sure you comment on any video you can to get entered in the giveaway to win, hopefully win a chance of a deck box. Um, we've, people have been pulling some really cool stuff in there, and I uh, want to give you guys a chance of doing that. Again, uh, I think that's all we've got to talk about today. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this video. Hope you all enjoyed it as, and as well. Remember, goodwill and fortune will come your way if you stick to good deeds every day. Peace, everybody.